Sup guys, Multiplier here. So today, another massive tutorial, which is massive. Um, so yeah, I've basically been personally exploring the loops part of the uh, the envelopes. Something I haven't really been kind of using for, well, for ages really, until for like a year and a half, um, but only just really figured out kind of how it works and they're quite useful. Um, aspects of them are completely useless, but um, certainly some cool things you can do with them. So I thought I'd run you through kind of how it works. So yeah, um, just do file new sound, why not? Um, so yeah, basically, um, I'm sure you're aware, just typically when you just have like a brand new envelope, you have like the first bit, which is the attack, and then you've got the decay, and then when you hold the note down, it kind of stays at this sustain level, and then when you let go, um, it releases down here. But you can kind of add in some cool, extra coolness to it. Um, which if you've kind of had a dig through the presets that kind of come as standard in Massive, you'll notice they have some mental stuff going on in these envelopes and it's not kind of obvious how to kind of bring them up. And I know personally, um, for about a year, I never really went out my way to learn how the loops work, but um, I couldn't figure it out in 10 seconds, so I gave up. But I figured it out now, so should be cool, right? Um, so it's all in this kind of loop a bit down here. So by default, it's off. But then if you click and drag up, you don't, click you have to click and drag up that's kind of the hidden bit um you get all these numbers you get like 30 31 numbers 32 and then inf so each one of these kind of numbers represents a different way that the envelope behaves between this kind of dot bit and this dot bit so i know for a fact um loop one um once it, uh, it gets to here it goes to the end and then kind of stops there. Um, I'm pretty sure inf uh, just kind of loops it infinity times, um, and then fuck knows what all these other variations are. I'm sure you can look them up um, or have, a, have an experiment if you want. But I'd say the most useful, at least what I've found so far, is loop one. So what that basically means is it's almost like extending your sustain bit, um, except you can do a lot a lot of coolness in here, in this little loop section that you can't do in, in this uh, normal, decay and sustain section. So um, how can I show you what it does? So for a start, how do you change the height of this first bit is with this level here, um, this knob here to kind of pull that up and down. Um, how do you change the level of the second bit? Well, it's a level and level in there. Um, and then you've got all these options. So you've got this morph section. So you've got, you can choose one. So let's say curve two, which is mental, um, which is the 15th one. Um, and then you can morph it to the second curve. So you see how if I kind of morph it out, we've got these kind of two gray lines. Um, each one of those gray lines is one of these kind of pull down menus. So if we choose a different one now, it's completely like just mental, all kinds of mental, mental. So we might want to leave it as linear for now. Um, but then by kind of dragging between these morph, it kind of pulls it from one line to the other. So it's almost as though, um, the second drop down is at the right hand side of this this knob and then the first drop down curve is at the left hand side. So it basically gives you, um, click it, 22 different curves um, to kind of morph between which gives you an awful lot of choice. Now it's not quite as much choice as you get in say um, FM8 as far as curves go and you can't quite be as accurate but you can do some cool things nice and easily. So um, typically, um, especially if you've got say the loop set to one. So it doesn't really loop through, it just kind of runs through it once. It can be quite nice, because you can do say, um, you can pull this decay time forward loads, um, pull that level up, um, and now you basically just got, it's almost like that is your whole wave and it just goes through it once. So you can choose kind of a, it's almost like a nice way of kind of setting up a like an amplitude of the wave. So have an experiment. Um, it just certainly does some cool stuff. Um, can get a bit mental. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it really. Um, it's probably more useful if you kind of have a have an experiment yourself um, just to kind of have a feel for it. But uh, now you know how to do it, you can kind of incorporate that into your sound design and stuff. Um, so yeah, it's kind of all in this loop button. Click it and drag up. I swear it should be set up differently because that's not obvious at all that that's how you kind of turn it on. But yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, check out my uh, previous 
tutorial trap synth massive something to that effect where I kind of use these curves in a preset in kind of like a subtle way but a useful way um, just going to give you an example of how you might use it but yeah pretty cool um, hit me up if I haven't explained it well or whatever but yeah sounds good enjoy making curves and stuff in massive <laughs>